Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. My name is Skyline and today I just wanted to bring you such a cool round that I saw yesterday in the Athena Cup Open. These two teams are not pro teams, but they are semi-pro teams, up and coming teams, aspiring teams, full of, these are all top 500 players, great players, all of these, all these guys are. And so this is still certainly a good showing. Now, what I wanted to point out here was the Orissa plus Torbjorn defensive strat that Underline is running. And so this is not a new strategy. I'm sure that lots of people have thought of this. I've thought of it. I'm sure you have also thought of it, but it's like, eh, it couldn't work, right? It's not gonna work, it's too cheesy. Well, it works, and it works really well. And we're gonna see it here in this very high level match. It's gonna work pretty pretty savagely, actually. So first of all, let's if we just go over the composition real quick, we have uh, an Ana as our only healer. Our Torbjorn will be our second support. He is the support, guys. Everyone runs him in the support slot in higher levels. Get with the times. And then we have a just a absolute full backline PLE sort of team with the Orisa, the Roadhog, Soldier. And we have a Reinhardt, of course, for the ability to push up a little bit because you have to at least have some sort of initiation on your team available to you. So basically the Orisa shield is going to sit back with the Torbjorn the entire time and then Reinhardt will just push up and be a regular Reinhardt player. Meanwhile, Virtue, the attacking team, is running a pretty death y backline-y composition of their own. And so let's go in. Now, what's one of the biggest weaknesses of Torbjorn? It's his very weak early game. Before he gets that scrap up, before he gets the armor up, he's much less effective of a hero than he normally is. But it's pretty hard to deal with this. You need to have a pretty strict plan going in. You don't know where the turret is. You don't have the right team composition potentially to deal with the turret. And so combining the Orisa with the Torbjorn makes this first push for the attackers very, very hard. As a result, you buy enough time for now our Torbjorn has a bunch of scrap. He's up to 80, he just threw down some armor. We're gonna see our Anna has armor, our Torbjorn himself has armor. Lots of people are going to be having armor now. And additionally, because his turret didn't die, Torbjorn almost will certainly have his ultimate up after the start of the first fight. And Torbjorn's ultimate is just so, so ridiculously strong that having a team composition relying around building up a Torbjorn ultimate is pretty fair. So here, this is the normal response. This is a good response by Virtue. Go in, everybody just dive the turret, dive through the shield, and kill the turret. And it went down in like a second. That wasn't too big of a problem. But as a result, you can see that the Reinhardt player and the Zarya player had to push very far up, and the Ana player had to push far up as well in order to heal them. Also, if you're diving the Torbjorn turret, you're not diving the Soldier, who's normally the really bad thing that you need to be able to dive because he's the big DPS. So all of this they've done, all this work they've done, this sacrificing their Reinhardt essentially, has just killed a Torbjorn turret. That's it. And like I said before, Torbjorn has his ultimate as well. So Torbjorn, uh, did you really finds a good opening to put his own turret down behind the car. He found it, there's a turret up. And now, despite starting so ahead, getting off on such a good foot, because this was a really good push by Virtue, they just can't quite get through everything because, I mean, they had to push through a Torbjorn ult that's almost impossible most of the time. They had to sack their Reinhardt very early on. And so some good play from the tanks coming back here. Chance landing a couple hooks here on Reinhardt, on Roadhog rather. He's gonna clean up the fight pretty nicely for Underline, despite Virtue doing such a good push, getting so many key picks and playing really well. And this is another key to this team composition because they have the Orisa as well. Orisa's ultimate is so, so impossible to push into just like Torbjorn's ultimate. You can't push into an Orisa ult and it lasts quite a while. And Earthshatter gets kind of whiffed, it looks like, by Underline actually. And well, you can't Earthshatter, of course, through an Orisa shield. And also, you can't use Graviton because you have this entire section the Roadhog and the Reinhardt stepping up, and then the Torbjorn and the Orisa are back. There's two layers to this composition, at least three layers if you want to count the Soldier and Anna who are sitting somewhere else. You'll never have a good Graviton, plus you can't even Graviton a turret. The turret's just, just gonna sit there and laugh at you. So, with only one minute remaining, again they're gonna try to dive the turret. Again, Torbjorn has his ultimate because 
How could he not if he has an unvulnerable turret? And so again, Underline pushes this back very, very easily. The key is that you're running Torbjorn as a support here, so he's not your main like killing damage source. You still have a soldier who's ready to kill everybody. Like this guy is still here, utter in the water. And so you have to either deal with one or the other, and if you don't deal with the Torbjorn, you pretty much die. This is a cheeky little strat here, I guess, a tricky thing where they went and they switched the Torbjorn up and it worked really well this time. It goes to show the flexibility of the strat as well. If you don't know where the Torbjorn turret is, it's very hard to deal with it when it has an Orisa there because you have to dedicate your entire team. And with only nine seconds left, they now have to push through yet another Orisa ultimate coming up. It's already at 80%, so she will have it for this fight. And so it's just too much. There's just so much defense on this team. I think it's really, really good. And notice it doesn't really matter. This could be a Mercy. This could be any DPS hero. Obviously, you're, you're going to have a Reinhardt, right? But this could be like a Zarya or something. Who, like, this is such a versatile team composition that mostly relies on having a Torbjorn as support and having that Orisa to back up the turret. So you can totally run this in solo queue, duo queue, and I don't know. I think it would be really, 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 really strong. So go forth and test it out. I think that there's some nice juicy skill uh, skill rating waiting around. So this is just footage from another game that Underland played with the same strat that I will run in the background. But I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to share this because while it is a strat that people have thought of before, I don't think anyone's ever seen it actually work or no one's been I guess courageous enough to try it. Or if you have, let me know in the comments. You can be a, you can be a real hipster. So that's about it. I do Overwatch dailies where I analyze pro matches every Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. You can check those out on my second channel. But until then, never forget to stay positive and have a great day. See you soon.